Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook where we take a look at the weather <laughs> and news and headlines and all kinds of information that we can get our hands on to have a more enjoyable life living in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. And of course, that includes your wonderful questions, ideas, comments, suggestions, and whatnot. Today is Saturday, June 24th. It's another hot and humid day in town. We'll be talking today about rain dances, and maybe I'm going to suggest a theory that will help our rain dances be more personalized, and maybe, just maybe, we will attract the rain. Welcome, everyone, particularly those of you that um, are watching for the first time live. If that is the case, please feel free to let us know by saying, by writing, rather, the words, new in your comment and we'll be so very happy to say welcome aboard and of course if you are thinking of something specific that you wish to share with everyone it helps a great deal when you add a capital letter q at the beginning of your comment we can be looking for those in the second half and make sure that we showcase your comment or question or suggestion or complaint or whatever is in your mind we are going to get started with the news right away. So let me put it up on my screen. And there you go. Ooh, black screen. Hold on. <clears throat> there he is. Marcelo Ebrard. We announced yesterday he was coming to Puerto Vallarta on Sunday. But it turns out he is expected to be in Banderas Bay tomorrow and today. This is... The former foreign affairs chancellor, now a pre-candidate for the presidency, who will participate in several activities, both in Puerto Vallarta and also in Bahia de Banderas. Now, you'd have to be seriously politically minded to follow his footsteps, as his calendar of activities has not been clarified, or maybe they seem to have released the official a schedule of activities last at night. I'm not sure. But I can tell you is that if anything interesting comes out of his visit, we will be sharing it on Monday morning. And of course, there it seems to be this indication that if you go to the mariachi parade tomorrow at the Malecon tomorrow evening, chances are you may bump into him there or so they say. And speaking of the Malecon, I found out, thanks to Vallarta en Línea, that there is going to be a parade of um, vintage Volkswagen vehicles, or maybe not a parade, an exhibition. They're going to be parked along the Malecon today. So if this is your thing, or if you're looking for a special photo up to enjoy during the weekend, you may want to consider this today. No time is specified, um, but I would imagine by now they should be there. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not. 
And of course, <clears throat> as you may have noticed, we have gotten a tad obsessed about the rain forecast in the past few days. Please don't blame me. We are way overdue. So according to this lovely source, which is Puerto Vallarta, uh, not, not Puerto Vallarta, this is Guadalajara-based Informador. Informador says that we may see a bit of rain in parts of the state today. And that is uh, what Informador has to say. Now, Vallarta Opina, on the other hand, which is a local source, they claim that it won't start raining until this coming week. And this is from the dude that said recently that Mexico was the warmest country in the world when it wasn't. Oh, pues. So we're going to see what our snarky weather forecast has to say about this. And after the weather break, we will discuss the possibility of better rain dance targeting. First, let's see what snarky weatherman has to say. And Snarky Weatherman says, holy mother forking shirt balls. Uh, the sun is here. Now, that was a mouthful, if you ask me. It is 31 degrees right now. Humidity is at 74%. Show me the path to the nearest swimming pool. Thank you. And uh, our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 87 at present time. 1% chance of rain at this very moment. Isn't that exciting? Our weather forecast says, oh, wait a second. It says that it's going to be mostly clear skies in the morning with rain in the afternoon. Chance of rain in the afternoon is going to be 11%. And then tomorrow, oh, with a high of 33 and a low of 27. Tomorrow will be a humid day with mostly clear skies throughout the day. A high of 33, a low of 27, a chance of rain of 15%. And then Monday, partly cloudy skies in the morning with rain in the afternoon. Chance of rain, 49%. So now we're talking, and this will be Monday, with a high of 33 and a low of 27. So it does seem to indicate that it's going to rain sometime soon. We'll keep our fingers crossed. And I will tell you a couple of tips on how to home in your rain dance after we acknowledge our new subscribers and our community partners. Today is Saturday, and we have this new tradition of doing this on Saturdays. So this week, we want to welcome uh, four new cluster angels, Maggie, as in Peggy, Glenn, Christy, and Al Friss all became cluster angel members, and we are incredibly grateful for that and of course we're also grateful to our community partners apaches martini bar a fun alfresco bar perfect for people watching and meeting people in the heart of zona romantica best cord cutting tv a locally based television service provider offering you hundreds of international channels for your viewing pleasure hotel mercurio puerto Vallarta's favorite ho hotel for the lgbt plus community and, of course, Bistro Mercurio, which is their wonderful restaurant. And last but not least, Joint Coworking Hotel, a beautifully appointed hotel located next to the Rio Quale, where yours truly has the pleasure of presenting music appreciation presentations on an ongoing basis. So these are, these are our community partners. Please, if you get to cross paths with them, um, Please thank them for supporting Coffee and Headlines and get to know their products and services. And of course, they will receive a special invitation for our next meet and greet, which has been scheduled for the last week of July. I forget the exact date, but I will start promoting that this coming Monday. Yes. Now, let us go back to this business of the rain dance, because maybe the problem is that we have not been dancing with enough targeting and what i mean by that is today is june 24th and today the catholic church celebrates the birth of saint john the baptist the only saint whose birth is actually celebrated by the catholic church all the other saints just got distributed around the calendar why is this relevant well because there seems to be this odd coincidence that apparently since the conquistadors came to mexico and started chronicling their lives, 
every day every, or every time St. John the Baptist Day comes around, it seems to rain. Maybe not every single year, but traditionally people expect it to rain on St. John the Baptist Day. So maybe we can personalize our dance, a rain dance to him. Or on the other hand, today is also the day in which pre-Hispanic cultures in Mesoamerica celebrated Tlaloc, the god of rain. So maybe we should be rain dancing with him in mind. Anyhow, what you're looking at on your screen is the giant Tlaloc monolith that sits right outside the National Anthropology Museum in Mexico City. And he's ginormous. I mean, this piece alone is seven meters tall and weights 168 tons. It was discovered laying down in a small town near Mexico City called San Miguel Cuatlinchan. And on April 16, 1964, it was transported to Mexico City in a monumental engineering task that is lovely, lovingly documented in a video which you can find in YouTube, and I'm going to share that video with you if you're curious about it. So what happened when Tlaloc arrived in Mexico City at the Anthropology Museum? Well, you guessed it. It rained, and it rained, and it poured, and it poured. So maybe if we start dancing to Tlaloc and, um, and the saint that we celebrate today, maybe, just maybe, we will have... A little bit of rain this weekend. I'm not sure. I'm losing my hope, but not so much. What can I say? Let us take a quick look at your comments and see what everybody is thinking of doing this weekend. And look at me glow. Ooh, I'm schwitzing. But that's what happens when we do coffee and headlines. Uh, I see good mornings as always, and these are appreciated. Uh, lovely. Sherry says, I made us a breakfast tortilla wrap. The question is, did you separate your tortillas before you did it? Uh, let's see what else we have. Logan says, Feliz Sabadaba do on my way to learn how many different ways we can air fry tofu and cauliflower. This means that Logan is attending the air frying <clears throat> class that is happening this morning at Joint Co-working Hotel. I love it. Ricky asks if when I said vintage uh, Volkswagen vehicle, I meant Vochos. And yes, that is the nickname that we use for Volkswagen uh, vehicles in Spanish. That's what Vochos came, came, comes from. That's where, that's where that word comes from. Let's see what else we have. I see a cue from Mark. We went to Casa Guadalajara last night to check out Echo Amano, met Joshua and bought a tie-dye and decided to have dinner. The food and service was perfect and the mariachis may be the best I've ever heard. Highly recommended. Thank you for that, Mark. I had every intention of going myself, but unfortunately, the gods that my fate didn't align for me to go, but I'm so glad that, that at least one other member from the cluster was there. Um, and thank you. Thank you for that report. Guadalajara, Casa Guadalajara continues to be on my list of restaurants that I want to check sometime in the near future. Um, <laughs> that is so funny. Mark and Linda uh, report separately, but they were both there. I love it. Thanks for the Echo Amano mention at Casa Guadalajara. Mark bought a cool shirt from the tie-dye guy. Food was tasty, but the real treat was the mariachi. Well, that really makes me want to go even more. So, this was a short broadcast. Um, I wonder what you are up to this weekend. For me, this weekend is about continuing to stay as cool as possible. And um, But I will venture out. I will venture out into the city sometime tomorrow to do some video, to do some photographs. John says, I miss your closing music. Yeah, we changed things a little bit, John, because we allowed for for uh, YouTube integration that allows us to put links at the end of the broadcast. And that's why we're doing it differently now. 
but I will put this on the screen as I've been doing in the last few days. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for keeping us company. Thank you very much for sharing photos and news and comments with us. It is always a pleasure to read what you bring to the table. This coming week is very exciting for me as we'll have our very first um, promo prodigy workshop on Tuesday. And we will talk about this on Monday, although we've been talking about it all along. And I will tell you what happened with the candidate that visited. And I will tell you what happened with the rain. Hopefully, I won't have to tell you. Hopefully, we will all experience it together. So have a good one. Stay in touch. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again soon.